students, in honor of Dr. Seuss Week, today we are going to be reading the, the Cat in the Hat. Now give me a thumbs up if you've read this story before. Give me thumbs down if this is your first time. And if this is your first time, I'm really excited that I get to read this book for you guys because it's an excellent book. And it's, of course, by Dr. Seuss. So he's a famous author that writes fiction books, so kind of books that he made up in his mind, but they're mostly famous because they have a lot of rhymes to them. And some of the words he even put in his book are not even real, which is kind of cool. But today we're going to be reading The Cat in the Hat, which is one of his most popular books. The Cat in the Hat by Dr. Seuss. And you see on the cover page, there's a cat in a hat, and then you see he's holding a umbrella right here, and then look who's above. It's a fish in a fish bowl. So I can't wait to read this story with you guys. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house all that, all that cold, cold, wet day. Also, you see two kids and they're inside of their house. And why are they, why are they stuck inside their house? Because it's raining. I sat there with Sally. We sat there, we too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out and too cold to play ball. So we sat in the house. We did nothing at all. So all we could do was to sit, 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 sit. And we did not like it, not one little bit. Ah, uh, so the, the two kids are bored and they want to do something fun. Bump! And then something went bump. How that bump made us jump. Ooh, I wonder what made that bump. Even the fish in the fishbowl is looking. We looked. Then we saw him step in on the mat. We looked. And we saw him. The cat in the hat. And he said to us, How do you sit there like that? I know it is wet. And the sun is not sunny. But we can have lots of good fun. That is funny. I know some good games we could play, said the cat. I know some new tricks, said the cat in the hat. A lot of good tricks. I will show them to you. Your mother will not mind at all if we do. Then Sally and I did not know what to say. Our mother was out of the house for the day. Hmm, would you want to play with Cat in the Hat if your parents were gone? if this mysterious cat showed up to your doorstep. But our fish said, no, no, make that cat go away. Tell that cat in the hat, you do not want to play. He should not be here. He should not be about. He should not be here when your mother is out. Hmm. So does the fish think it's a good idea? No, the fish is like, no, tell that cat to go away. This is not a good idea. Now, now, have no fear. Have no fear, said the cat. My tricks are not bad, said the cat in the hat. Why, we can have lots of good fun if you wish with a game that I call up, up, up with a fish. Put me down, said the fish. This is no fun at all. Put me down, said the fish. I do not wish to fall. Oh no, so he's got the fish on top of his umbrella. Have no fear, said the cat. I will not let you fall. I will hold you up high as I stand on a ball. With a book on one hand and a cup on my hat. But that is not all I can do, said the cat. Ooh, so he's very talented. He can stand with a ball and he's holding a book with one hand and an umbrella with the fish on top of the umbrella. Can you guys do that? <laughs> yeah, I certainly cannot. <laughs> Look at me. Look at me now, said the cat. 
with a cup and a cake on top on the top of my hat, I can hold up two books. I can hold up the fish and a little toy ship and some milk on a dish. And look, I can hop up and down on the ball. But that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Ooh. Look at me, look at me, look at me now. It is fun to have fun, but you have to know how. I can hold up the cup and the milk and the cake. I can hold up these books and the fish on a rake. I can hold up the toy ship and a little toy man and look with my tail. I can hold a red fan and I can fan with the fan as I hop on the ball, but that is not all. Oh no, that is not all. Oh, what else do you think he could do? Yeah, that's a lot of stuff he could do. That is what the cat said. Then he fell on his head. He came down with a bump from up there on the ball. And Sally and I, we saw all the things fall. Oh, no. So what happened? He fell. All the things went plop. And our fish came down too. He fell into a pot. He said, do I like this? Oh no, I do not. This is not a good game, said our fish as he lit. No, I do not like it, not one little bit. Oh, that poor fish. Now look what you did, said the fish to the cat. Now look at this house. Look at this, look at that. You sink our toy ship sink it deep in the cake you shook up our house and he bent over bent our new rake you should not be here when our mother is not you should get out of this house said the fish in the pot but i like to be here oh i like it a lot said the cat in the hat to the fish in the pot I will not go away. I do not wish to go. And so, said the cat in the hat, so, 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 I will show you another good game that I know. Hmm, what do you think is going to be the next good game? And then he ran out. And then fast as a fox, the cat in the hat came back, came back in with a box. A big red wood wood box. It was shut with a hook. Now look at this trick, said the cat. Take a look. Then he got up on top with a tip of his hat. I call this game fun in a box, said the cat. In this box are two things. In this box are two things. I'll show you show to you now. You will like these two things, said a cat, said the cat with a bow. Hmm, what are the two things going to be? And I think we, well, we are going to pause there for today. So I want you guys to think, what do you think the two things are in the box? And I'll give you that prediction assignment on Class Dojo. And I hope you guys are enjoying the cat in the hat. It will continue on next time. Bye.